Hello and a very warm welcome to today's session brought to you by Team Textbook Super Coaching. I hope all of you are doing really well. आज के इस particular brief, crisp, short session के माध्यम से हम लोग पांच important aspects of post-colonialism को देखेंगे and we'll be wrapping up the week, right? कल की जो आपकी class है, that'll get rescheduled and I'll also inform you over Telegram platform कि कब हम लोग वो session करेंगे और आज हम पांच important pointers with regards to post-colonial literature करेंगे and I want you to do a little bit of homework as well before you come to the next class i want you to review your caribbean and african writers before you come for the next class kyunki aapka halka sa thoda sa hum log is topic ko leke quiz lenge right good evening satendra good evening dominator shweta padma ayushi uh, good evening good evening yeah himanshi we were missing your class we were not able to see your good evenings in the class so please come back uh, you know and make sure that you are keeping yourself better but i totally understand even i myself am feeling so cold right now suddenly you know in the studio room there it's it's like there's no heater this is comparatively a little uh, smaller room so I don't even know whether uh, I can accommodate my heater or my blower over here, and I'm freezing right now. It's looking as if you know you're you're in some Scandinavian country uh, altogether where snowfall has happened. So yes, of course. Um, good evening, good evening. Please, um, Kumari Radishi. Uh, yes, excellent, excellent. Dominators answered the correct answer as well. Okay, uh, correct answer as well. Correct answer as well. Absolutely right. The zigzag way. So, today we have five important concepts, five important works, five important writers. The post-colonial literature is associated. We will see them once again. So, let's start quickly because the more quickly we start, the better it will be. So, who has written the zigzag way? Right? This is your question. Hai. Who is the writer who has written the zigzag? way the zigzag way is a work by anita desai this is absolutely the correct answer over here okay zigzag way jo aapka work hai this is a work that is coming from the pen of desai okay uh, so who is the writer who's writing this okay post colonial works post colonial literature ye aapko pata hona chahiye aaj ki class basically a broad framework draw kar rahi hai aapke liye right what are we trying to draw we are trying to draw a very broad framework ke aapke uh, post colonial literature ke canvas mein kya kya इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स आते हैं वट आर सर्टन थिंग्स दैट यू शुड डेफिनेटली बी अवेयर अबाउट तो ये चीज हम लोग डिस्कस करेंगे तो लेट अस जस्ट मेक श्योर दैट वी ले द ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज ऑफ टूडेज क्लास टूडेज सेशन जल्दी से इसको देख लेते हैं और जो रिप्रेजेंटेशन है उसको अंडू करते हैं दैट इज ऑफ कोर्स कमिंग इन गुड इवनिंग लिची गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग ओ माय गॉड राइट या 18th जनवरी स्नोफॉल इज प्रेडिक्टेड ओके एंड शिमला इट्स वेरी कोल सो दिस इज यू फ्रॉम शिमला दैट्स रियली नाइस दैट्स रियली नाइस सो ये जो वर्क है ये अनीता देसाई ने लिखा है व्हाट इज दिस ट्राइंग टू टेल यू द जिगजैक वे अच्छा प्लीज याद रखना इसके अंदर आपका डायस्पोरिक लिटरेचर व्हाट इज डायस्पोरिक लिटरेचर इंडियंस हु हैव माइग्रेटेड ऑल टुगेदर वो आपके डायस्पोरिक लिटरेचर की कैटेगरी के अंदर आते हैं जो आपके डायस्पोरिक राइटर्स दे ऑफ कोर्स बिकम इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू राइट आपके जो राइटर्स और एसोसिएटेड विद डायस्पोरा दे आर ऑफ कोर्स इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू एंड फॉर योर ओवरऑल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ की टेक्स्ट्स जो इंडियन डायस्पोरा लिख रहे इंपॉर्टेंट सो दिस नॉवल 
Anita Desai. This is a novel which is coming from the pen of Anita Desai. This is telling you about this American academic writer who goes with his girlfriend to Mexico and rediscovers his passion for fiction writing altogether. Uh, so, you know, the zigzag way Anita Desai, as it is, is a very important writer. You are able to see Anita Desai's daughter, Kiran Desai, uh, coming in Inheritance of Loss that is written. Anita Desai ki baki works bhi aapke liye kaafi important hai. Um, jaise hum log yaad hai, when we were talking about... Um, when we were looking at your works by John Sutherland, whose book ke andar I had told you that how Martin Amis and Kingsley Amis dono ke dono aare hai. Like usi tarah se, you know, this is also a family duo which uh, which is of course important for you and for your overall understanding. So ye bhi cheez aapko thodi bahut dhyan mein rakhni padegi. You'll have to keep on uh, remembering this also in in mind. Now you know what is so beautiful about the zigzag way. Uh, if you're going to be reading, jaise agar aap uh, summary ko usko read karoge on summary.com website, also you'll be able to see ke kaise it is trying to tell you about this American scholar and writer. What is the name of the scholar? Eric is the name of the scholar. He follows his girlfriend M. He follows his girlfriend M. Foundation Batch. Mein, what did we say? The Prefatory Man. Foundation Batch. Mein, abhi, hum literary criticism. Kar rahe hai. What are we talking about? The Prefatory Man. Dryden. What is he writing? He's writing preface to fables also. 1700 which is his last work where he compares Ovid and Chaucer. So even before Matthew Arnold the modern critic or critics critic is interested Introducing the comparative analysis, jo Alan Tate be in the tension of poetry may use karte hai. What are you able to see? You're able to see that comparative criticism aapka, uh, it is also getting spearheaded by Dryden. And remember, Dryden may have ne four characters, ek ko kaise yaad rakha tha? M. So Eugenus is representing modern views. Emerson, as they have ne yaad kya tha, is up there if you remember. Christ representing your ancients, uh, right? Christ talking about uh, how you're able to see that rhyme is not something which comes naturally to poetry um right however what is neander trying to talk about nine neander is saying rhyme is the noblest of things that can happen so i hope aap log, uh, you know review kar rahe hai, you're also able to revise you're also able to recollect interrelate Aaj bhi jo hum log ne kara tha, matthew arnold ke bare mein, how we were able to see just nebor and gurter un dono ko quote kara jata hai. remember nebor and gurter dono ko quote karte hai, matthew arnold uh, matthew arnold is also talking about this conversation that was taking place between napoleon right and Napoleon is saying everywhere you just see charlatans and then that is the reply that he's getting no poetry is not related to charlatanism right personal fallacy, historical fallacy that we had discussed, that's all important, okay? Now, you know, he has a girlfriend, M, ke paas jate hai, who's on a scientific research sabbatical in Mexico, okay? And, you know, once when he comes, he's told that he's not allowed to live on a research site. So, he goes to Mexico, he develops his skills as a fiction writer. So, imagine if he, uh, he's come to meet his girlfriend and then he actually becomes a fictional writer. So, therefore, zigzag way, right? The zigzag way altogether. So, this is again another important work by Anita Desai. Anita Desai ke waise bhi other works you should keep in mind. You can actually cover them up also end to end. That is important. Okay. Who has written, who is a writer of Olender Girl? Olender Girl kis ne likha hai? Who has written Olender Girl? Olender Girl is a work written by Olender Girl is a work written by Olender Girl kis ne likha hai? Who is a writer associated with Olender Girl? Olender Girl kis ne likha hai? Good evening, good evening Ravi, good evening Rani. Olender Girl, who is a writer who has written Olender Girl? Jadhi se bataye, what is the correct answer over here? Who is the writer who is writing Olender Girl, right? Who is the writer who is writing Olender Girl? Chaliye, jaldi se bataye, what is the correct answer for Olender Girl? Olender Girl, Olender Girl, ye kiska hai? It is telling you the story of the 17-year-old Karobi Roy. Karobi Roy ki story hai, ye aapki paper mein bhi aa chuki hai. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Chaliye, jaldi se bataye, what is the correct answer? Yes, excellent. Dominator Rajneesh has given the right answer. This is, this is Chitra Banerjee Devakarani. Okay? This is Chitra Banerjee Devakarani. So, what was the important work of this? Zigzag way. Who's story is telling you? Eric and M's story is telling you. How Eric is coming to visit his girlfriend who's currently on a sabbatical and she's doing research altogether. But uh, he's not really allowed to uh, stay at the site. And then, you know, when he's exploring the city, he actually explores, right? He's also exploring his own attributes 
recruits as a fictional writer and he becomes a fictional writer and here oleander girl oleander girl jo hai this is by chitra banerji divakaruni chitra banerji divakaruni is writing oleander girls right oleander girl <laughs> ye jo uh, work hai what is it trying to tell you it is trying to tell you about these three generations of mexican american family you know puri ki puri story oleander girl aapko batata hai right kiski story hai the story of karobi roy karobi roy ki story hai she is orphaned uh, you know at birth and 17 year uh, you know what what are you able to see till that particular time she is raised by her grandmother sarojini and the grandfather bimal prasad roy how the grandfather dies uh, of an attack altogether post 911 so you know 911 ko bhi mention kiya jata hai is particular word ke andar ke post 911 how she tries to figure out her roots so this is a very common theme you're trying to figure out your roots you're trying to figure out your identity you're trying to figure out kya kaha se aaye hain aap kaun hain what is your uh, basic identity that crisis is of course very central to post colonial literature of the 21st century so jo aapka post colonial literature that's trying to figure out ki main who kaun who am i where am i coming from what is it that you know i'm i'm basically a part of because obviously um, you see the blurring of of rigid uh, binaries agar aapke parsi friends honge they will tell you that you know parsi community actually has become extinct only almost right and it's really sad and sorry and one of the reasons has also been their rigid practices of just marrying within the community right so again uh, you know the search for identity has been historically very important okay who has written uh, an unaccustomed earth unaccustomed earth very important unaccustomed earth kisne likha hai unaccustomed earth jaldi se bataiye who is the writer who has written a custom earth right when when we are talking about the unaccustomed earth right the unaccustomed earth who is writing this particular work the unaccustomed earth who is writing this particular work called the unaccustomed earth jaldi se bataiye what is the correct answer over here the unaccustomed earth right who is writing this particular work very important work uh, that you are able to see very important writer also writing works like lowland and namesake that you are able to look at unaccustomed earth kisne likha hai very good excellent rani kumari has got the right answer jhumpa lahri is absolutely the right answer so oleander girl oleander girl is written by chitra banerji divakaruni right which is telling you the story of how you are able to see the 17 year old girl try to try to figure out her roots all together so ye cheez aapko yaad rakhni hai good evening good evening jyoti good evening uh, so i hope you you are keeping in mind you are keeping in mind all the works that are there the oleander girl jo hum logo ne bola ya yes, zigzag way jo hum logo ne bola right and even right now when we are talking about when we are looking at when we are talking about this particular work the custom do that is also equally important so this is a work coming by jhumpa lahri this is a work that is associated with jhumpa lahri and uh, please yaad rakhiyega that when we are talking about this is a second collection of short stories so first collection of short stories kya hai aaj thoda short stories ke upar bhi modern short stories ke upar bhi please read karke aayega we will discuss this topic also on modern short story we will talk about this topic of modern short stories jo aapka modern short stories hain inko bhi hum achhi तरह से कवर करेंगे सो इसको भी देख के आइएगा गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग इथेरियल चलिए जल्दी बताइए व्हाट इज द डेब्यू व्हाट इज द डेब्यू दैट यू आर एबल टू सी व्हाट इज द डेब्यू दैट यू आर एबल टू सी जल्दी से बताइए जल्दी से बताइए सो अनकस्टम डर्थ आई होप यू आर क्लियर अबाउट इट अनकस्टम डर्थ इज बाय रुम्बा लहरी रुम्बा लहरी इज राइटिंग अनकस्टम डर्थ लहरी इज द वन हु इज राइटिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्क तो जल्दी बताइए क्विकली क्विकली प्लीज शेयर quickly please share what is the debut work that we are talking about the debut short story collection the debut short story collection to aapka jo debut short story collection hai jaldi se wo bataiye debut short story collection bataiye debut short story collection is interpreter of maladies right interpreter of maladies is a debut short story collection that also won the pulitzer prize okay interpreter of maladies to aapka hai that actually won please be a little aprajita neha aapne answer ke baad bola hai okay and of course the first novel was namesake second novel was lowland again right uh, interpreter of maladies is the first one unaccustomed earth is the second short story collection so unaccustomed earth jo aapka aa raha hai Unaccustomed Earth is the second one. So I hope you are reviewing, you are revising. अभी तक हम लोगों ने क्या देखा था? Eric and M की कौन सी story है? Zigzag Way by Nita Desai. 
सेकेंड आपका ओलियांडर गर्ल बाय चित्रा बैनर्जी दिवाकरणी राइट अगेन टाइम टू टेल यू आर मेक्सिकन इंडियन कम्युनिटी द रूट्स द सर्च फॉर रूट्स ऑल टूगेदर टू में आया था इंटरप्रिटर मेलोडीज की ही राइटर्स राइटिंग एन आने कस्टम डर्स दैट यू आर एबल टू सी सो ये भी चीज आपको याद रखनी है वट आर द मेजर वर्क वट आर द मेजर वर्क ऑफ इमैनुअल दोंगाला इमैनुअल दोंगाला की मेजर वर्क क्या है वट आर द मेजर वर्क ऑफ इमैनुअल दोंगाला इमैनुअल दोंगाला की मेजर वर्क क्या है What are the major works of Emmanuel Dongala? इमानुअल दोंगाला हु इज इमानुअल दोंगाला दोंगाला कौन है दोंगाला कहाँ से है सबसे पहले वेर आर यू एबल टू सी कॉन्गोलीजियन राइटर है ये राइट कॉन्गोलीजियन राइटर दट यूर एबल टू सी सो इमानुअल दोंगाला राइट इमानुअल दोंगाला सो हियर यू हैव टू कीप दिस इन माइंड ऑल्सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट एज वेल ओके चलिए जल्दी से बताइए Yes, everyone. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. ओके नो वरीज दैट वॉज रियली ऑनेस्ट दैट वॉज रियली ऑनेस्ट सो लाइक आई थिंक इमानुअल दोंगाल इज कॉन्गोलीजियन राइटर कॉन्गोलीजियन राइटर वर्क्स लाइक जैज एंड पाम वाइन ये इनके बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट वर्क्स हैं आजकल आप नेट पे देखोगे कि यू नो फॉर इंस्टेंस आपके जो इंपॉर्टेंट राइटर्स हैं कहाँ कहाँ से आ रहे हैं जैसे अभी एक और लास्ट में जो हम राइटर करेंगे दैट्स अ राइटर फ्रॉम नमीबिया एंड दैट इज द रीजन आज आपका होमवर्क जो है दैट इज ऑल्सो टू एटलीस्ट री विजिट बेसिक एफ्रिकन राइटर्स री विजिट बेसिक करिबियन राइटर्स आपके जो बेसिक African and basic Caribbean writers है उनको आप revisit कीजिए because see understand now you you don't really get questions now only on Ashabe, Gugiva Thiongo or or you know your Nadine Godema you're actually getting questions on new writers also who are entering the spectrum of post colonialism ठीक है जैसे Emmanuel Dongala हो गए right Emmanuel Dongala is trying to tell you about the Congolese villages with jazz music all together ठीक है ये पूरा का पूरा आता है ये ना एक आप इस इस weekend पे homework भी देखना है probably try to see if I can send that link on the Telegram platform. A documentary है, which tries to tell you about how you know your fizzy drinks, your uh, your fast food, which is actually a biggest uh, you know um, the the biggest drug that you can actually give because you know obesity is becoming the second biggest problem after smoking in the whole world uh, in the whole world altogether. Or कैसे you know coke sets up its foot in Brazilian cities altogether. कैसे uh, you know Brazil was a simple place altogether where people would actually uh, play sports, but suddenly वहाँ पे आपने फिजी ड्रिंक कोक इंट्रोड्यूस कर दिया है सो हाउ दैट पर्टिकुलर डॉक्यूमेंट आई आई शो यू इवन आई माई सेल्फ रियली लाइक यू नो लाइक कोक विच इज एक्चुअली इंजूरियस ऑल टूगेदर दैट फिज दैट इट गेट्स ऑल टूगेदर सो दिस इंटायर डॉक्यूमेंट्री सो इमान दंगोला सो यू नो जो कॉन्गलीज इन लाइफ है टोकल कैसे आती है जैज म्यूजिक the whole uh, spectrum of what is happening in congo that's actually getting represented you know that carefree easy life all together that is something that you're largely able to see ठीक है तो ये प्लीज आप इसको भी ध्यान में रखिएगा इमानुअल दोंगाला ठीक है जैज एंड पाम वाइन राइट जैज एंड पाम वाइन राइट दिस इज इमानुअल दोंगाला दैट वी टॉकिंग अबाउट सो प्लीज इसको भी मेक अ नोट ऑफ इमानुअल दोंगाला द कॉन्गलीजियन राइटर बिकॉज जैज एंड पाम वाइन इज ऑल्सो यू नो एन इम्पॉर्टेंट वर्क दैट यू आर हैविंग सो प्लीज कीप दैट इन माइंड जैज एंड पाइन पाम वाइन दैट इज द वर्क बाय दोंगाला ओके दिस इज एक्चुअली वन ऑफ द लास्ट क्वेश्चन लाइक आई टोल्ड यू आर बी डिस्कसिंग फोर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंटर्स निशानी एंड Andreas, who's Nishani Andreas? Who's Nishani Andreas? Nishani Andreas. So when we talk about Nishani Andreas, who's Nishani Andreas? And here comes your homework time as well. What I expect all of you to actually do for your homework before we meet for the next time all together. Uh, jaldi se bataiye. What is the correct answer over here? Nishani Andreas, uh, a very important writer, writing the Purple Violet. of oshanto right the purple violet of oshanto uh, so ye inka ek work hai who is uh, you know who is the writer that we are talking about nishani andreas nishani andreas nishani andreas very nice shabnam shabnam say like, i don't like junk food yes absolutely right junk food should be completely your processed food junk food that needs to be completely prohibited for a healthy life altogether 
Okay, okay. So, uh, just like Emmanuel Dongala was a Congolesian writer, right? He was a Congolesian writer writing jazz and palm wine. Similarly, Nishani Andreas is a Namibian writer, right? Coming from Namibia. Coming from Namibia. So, abhi tak hum logo ne kya kya kare before I just go on to what is Nishani Andreas talking about. We started by looking at Eric and Emki's story, which was The Zigzag Way by Anita Desai. The second, what did we look at? The second we tried exploring, we started looking at uh, the entire concept of Oleander Girl by Chitra Banerjee Divakaruni and how it is also exploring the life of your identity uh, you, you're on a search for finding out your identity altogether Piran Custom Earth, the writer writing interpreter of Maladies, Jhumpa Lahri writing Namesake and Lowland Unka second collection, hai, short story collection hai. that is where I've given you the homework for completing your short stories take a little short stories ko, modern short stories ko dekna. Fourth, we talked about Emmanuel Dungala. Emmanuel Dungala, a Congolesian writer writing jazz and pam wine. And now when you're looking at Nishani Andreas, Nishani Andreas, what, what is the work that Nishani Andreas is known for? In case if you want to write this down, you can even write this down. The Purple Violet of Oshanto. Okay, the Purple Violet of Oshanto. The Purple Violet of Oshanto. This is the work that is being written. The Purple Violet, the Purple Violet of Oshanto, right? The Purple Violet of Oshanto. This is a work that is written Nishani Andreas. Nishani Andreas is the one who's writing this particular work, okay? So again, Namibian writer, Namibian writer. So we've looked at a writer from Congo. We've looked at a writer from, uh, you know, Namibia today. We've looked at a writer, of course, like, you know, two writers, rather three writers coming from the Indian region, but Indian origin, not Indian per se, per se, right? So you have to be a little we will have to keep that in mind altogether. Okay. Uh, so here, Jyoti Namibia. Namibia is a place. Namibian writer, Namibia. So we'll have to also go back to our geography classes here and know about the world map altogether. Okay. Know about the world map altogether. Namibia, Namibia. Right. Um, I, I I don't know if you used to play that A T L E S, right? A T L A S, right? That's list. Remember, you, you'll have to uh, make sure that you talk about it. So Nishani Andreas, like I said, Namibian writer the purple violet of oshanto is the work that is written the purple violet of oshanto you can even change the spellings over here this is the purple violet of oshanto okay women who are in traditional namibian society ke andar, women who are in traditional namibian society ke andar, unke baare mein ye particular work hai, okay so please keep that in mind do remember that now today what is your basic homework that you're getting like i said our artmania was starting me with tha, this is an ultra slim class that we have today for all of you and your homework is very simple i want you to first collate collaborate collate all the things that we've done so far this week in post-colonial literature Kalki class of course will be rescheduled ho jayegi, but otherwise jodi jodi cheese hum logo ne abhi tak post-colonial literature mein cover kari hai please take a look at it please properly review that right from your diagnostic altogether very good dominator excellent Secondly, I want you to dive into a quick research of African and Caribbean literature. Okay? African and Caribbean literature, you will have to look at African and Caribbean literature. This is your homework. I want all of you to complete this homework. There's an elongated weekend that's coming, elongated in the sense two day weekend. And I wish all of you a happy Lohri, Pongal, Bihu, uh, right? I wish you all the festivities because tomorrow you have that, right? Uh, so do celebrate Lohri really well. Do celebrate Lohri uh, in a proper manner altogether. And like I said, Dubara uh, Sikba review kar lete hai Nishani, right? Nishani Andreas, Namibian writer. Emmanuel Dongala is your Congolesian writer coming from Congo that we had talked about. We looked at Jhumpa Lahri, Chitra Banerjee Divakaruni, and Anita Desai. These are the five writers that we had looked at. Okay, is ko achhi tarah se review kar li jaga. African Caribbean literature ko revise kar kya aega. And please collate all your notes related to post-colonial literature. Jo abhi tak humne baat ki hai. I am going to be tying up all the uh, the the things together in the next class altogether. Fine. Thank you so much, Ravi. Thank you so much. In case if there are any other doubts, please do keep me posted about it. I'll catch up with all of you very soon. Okay? Classroom students, please don't forget to review whatever we have done this entire week. Just to reiterate again, we have so far looked at new classical theory, right? Where we have Dryden, Alexander Pope and Dr. Samuel Johnson. Ko dekh liya hai. 
please revise that and if possible read the original text and come otherwise class notes are non-negotiable right over the weekend definitely revise that then review romantic versus victorian criticism so apne ye ye teen classroom students aapka homework thoda zyada hai aap logo ka kya homework hai i hope you are very clear i'm again reiterating please review that and come your entire homework is to review new classical criticism class notes se sirf only and only aap logo ne class notes pdf se wo pura revise karke definitely aana hai okay uh, by the next class a new classical criticism needs to be done new classical criticism should be on your fingertips you should be done classroom students please make a note of this so yahan par kon kon aapka dryden as a prefatory man dryden as a father of modern uh, criticism uh, dryden as a father of literary criticism that you are able to see um, you know and overall how he is writing preface to fables and other aspects that we've looked at uh, also look at samuel johnson samuel johnson and uh, you know how he is solidifying the repetition of shakespeare uh, of course uh, alexander pope the popian criticism that is coming in aur yaad hai isme new classical criticism mein hum logo ne kya kaha tha we had talked about how the works of certain writers remember when we talked about valjean was getting that um then we 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 spoke about new classical critics like uh, cornell being there right or cornell kaise three discourses on poetry literature so sari cheeze please aap revise karke aaiye ka please revise everything in new classical criticism also please don't forget to review don't forget to review your romantic criticism so far right continental phenomena aaj bhi maine aapko do teen pointers bataye the remember what did we talk about i hope you are clear what is the most productive period of Sh of wordsworth in terms of critical ability it is called the 17 year old period which is from 1798 to 1800 and 15 और इसके अंदर जो सारे प्रेफिसेस भी वो लिख रहे हैं टू द प्रेल्यूड द पोएम्स व्हिच इज कमिंग एज वेल एज रिमेंबर प्रेफिस टू द लिरिकल बैली से पहले एडवर्टाइजमेंट टू द लिरिकल बैली 1798 आ रहा है देन प्रेफिस टू द लिरिकल बैली इज कमिंग इन हाउ मेनी वर्ड्स 7000 वर्ड्स देन आफ्टर दैट आई होप क्लासरूम स्टूडेंट्स यू आर एब्सोल्युटली क्लियर अबाउट दैट कि आपका सबसे पहला वर्ड क्या है एडवर्टाइजमेंट आ रहा है सबसे पहले देन यू आर हैविंग योर प्रेफिस व्हिच इज कमिंग इन हाउ मेनी words how many words 7000 words then aapka 1702 mein kya aa raha hai 7000 words plus 3000 words plus appendix how many words is appendix how many words is appendix quickly tell me very good future dreams very nice future dreams very good future dreams what is the appendix for what is the appendix for appendix is having another 2000 words okay so ye sari cheeze please review karke aayega romantic criticism so far except for cos look at blake bhi hum logo ne kaha tha the sui generis soul that we had uh, how he is having his own vision uh, so wordsworth coleridge blake and and cos like you know shelley and keats we are going to be again describing in the other part lekin jo jo class mein hua that is non negotiable all of you have to revise that and third last but not the least today's victorian criticism so far whatever we have looked at so class notes ko aapne achhi tarah se pure ke pure slides ko achhi tarah se review karke aane classroom students ye sare notes aapke bane hone chahiye i will be cross checking it when we come back in the class okay and youtube students i hope you are absolutely clear your homework is please collate post colonial literature and classroom students you have to do this also no escaping okay please compile your post colonial literature notes that i have told you and african and caribbean literature so please cover this properly you have a lot of material to you have a lot of uh, material to consume review revise achhi tarah se victorian criticism maybe please remember all the pointers it should come at the back of your mind goethe nebur right ye sari cheeze aapki aani chahiye personal fallacies historical fallacies right uh, kaise he says religion is char is filled with charlatans uh, even uh, philosophy is filled with charlatan wo sari points aapke clear hone chahiye thank you very good monica i'm really proud of you very good monica very nice devishesh very good future dreams ne bahut acha kiya hai to sari cheeze achhi tarah se is hafte saturday sunday ko revise kar lijiyega if you were unwell also please review all of that in calm fine so you all have your respective homework ready i'll keep on giving you telegram support as well any other problem then do let me know rani if there koi aur problem hai you can mail it to me on neersha.rahija.faculty@testbook.com theek hai aap mujhe mail kar dijiyega koi bhi problem agar aapko aa rahi hai ya agar aapko notes bhi aapko dikhane hai ki ye theek ja rahe hain nahi ja rahe to wo bhi aap kar sakte hain fine great everyone enjoy your weekend happy lori i will catch up with all of you then fine thank you so much bye
Adivishish, tomorrow there is no class, okay? Tomorrow there is no class. Good night, good night, Dominator. Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams. Bye. Happy Sakranti, future dreams. Same to you. Same to you, Ravi. Bye. Take care. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Neha. Bye, 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 Bachi.